Okay, I'm on paint 3D and um, how can you put text over an image? I was struggling before, I kept pressing text and nothing happening. I'm trying to select a text box like you might on Photoshop or GIMP, but you have to select the type of text first. So um, text, and that's where I was going wrong, and maybe where you're going wrong. So that's 2D or 3D. So 2D is now selected, and you can see under the arrow is like a tiny little sort of like um like a box a line ready for a column. So then you select your font type. I've previously added XXIV font size, whatever. This is going to have to be a bit smaller. The font color, bold, italicized text, underline, we left align, center, or right align. There's also this background fill. Add a background color to your text box. I'm not going to bother with that. I want it clear. So basically, make certain you select which type of text. Otherwise, you can't grab this um, this, uh, this column box. This box. So, and I can see the size of the font there because of the line a bit smaller than I'd anticipated so I'm going to go up one and that might do it huh still a bit small actually okay that's about right to Yeah, it's perfect. That's utterly perfect for me on that one. Hmm, like it. Really suits me. Futuristic and comic-y. Really like that slap, that um, slant on the A. What a lovely font that is. Um, okay, so save it. Go to menu and save as. Um, choose a file format, image, and it waits a while before the options come up. Here we are. So, I'm not overwriting like I might in GIMP or Photoshop. I am... Um, Make a new image done with those two. So, D blog two. Save as type. I'm saving as that's correct. JPEG. So if I hover over there, JPEG. I could possibly save as a, a ping. Let's have a look at the options. Oh no, it's a file name. Yeah, ping. GIF or whatever. So that's fine. Saving. It's all going a bit slowly, really, but um. There you are. There you are. Let's save. So, you want to get a new image, go to menu, new, new project, unsave changes, that's inside the editor. Because I know I've saved it. So, I'm going to create a new project. And then, menu. Um, I guess here, open browse files. I 
can get a new image. Uh, so let's have a look. <sighs> have a loading error. What's going on here? I can't see them. Damn things. Um, let's try coming out of that and starting again. Open, oh, God almighty. open browse files. Not letting me scroll down here. Aha. Let's pick another one. Let's pick that one there. Is it going to be a chance to explore other colours? Please wait opening file. Taking its time again. Right, I need a different colour on this one. Select the type of text 2D. That's the main thing here. And then something here. Choose a colour. Okay. Um, well, let's try it. Well, why is that tiny? Probably because the image, the image, the original image, is so large. Maybe because of that. So I've got to go to 130. Ah, that's pretty good actually. Digital blog. And then just save it the same way. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. Red on that sort of black and white. Wow. Okay, so using text, you've always got to select text before you create the text box. Pretty handy, Paint 3D. I use this quite a lot now. <laughs> 